Right, now having looked at the flat wash, what we're going to look at now is what's called a graded wash or a graded sky. And that's self-explanatory because you can see here that the sky is quite an intense blue at the top and it very quickly lightens off to give this very typical, very pale colour at the horizon. We're still going to use the ultramarine blue and the titanium white for most of the sky. But what I'm going to do is bring in a little bit of yellow ochre towards the bottom of the sky. And that's going to blend upwards and into the other colour as it comes down. And that's going to give us a nice warmth right at the horizon and give us the impression, as you can see here, of a quite bright sunny, sunny day. Let's have a look first of all at the palette that we're going to use. Now you can see that we've got the ultramarine blue again. I've put a couple more uh, blobs and dollops of white to replenish what we already had. Here's the yellow ochre colour. You can see it's a sort of colour of English mustard and we only need a little bit of that and I'm going to add that in as we get down uh, towards the bottom of the sky. So let's first of all start mixing some more of the sky colour but this time we're going to add in to start with rather more blue paint because we want a darker area particularly at the corners of the sky you'll find that as we produce some dark areas here and here it'll force the viewer's eye in towards the center of the picture this time we're going to start off with the darker blue uh, sky in the corners not worried about brush strokes too much we can feather those off now what we're going to do is to introduce rather more white so immediately we're going to create that sort of almost an arched impression there but then bring it across you can see how right away we've started to create a lighter sky then if we bring more white in a bit more acrylic retarder again you can see it's going lighter again now remember those little crisscross strokes we talked about just to start blending it together so we get it. we're looking for a seamless sort of sky here what we don't want is three distinct stripes of dark blue medium blue and light blue okay now I'm going to wash the brush a bit of paper towel now just to take the excess water off the uh, brush I'll now bring in some of the white paint that I've got on the brush into the yellow ochre. We're going to imagine that the horizon is about here. You can see immediately the warmth that that brings. Let's bring a little bit of the acrylic gel and a little bit more of the white paint. Let's tone it down slightly. We don't want it too cream. Now what I'm going to do is to bring in, as you can see, some of the the pale blue paint and one of the beauties of ultramarine blue and yellow ochre is that when you mix them together as you saw on the color chart for green mixed together strongly they produce a gray almost rather than a green now the great thing about this is that it means that you can fairly freely mix yellow ochre and ultramarine blue in the sky without making it look seasick start coming down now with a little bit of the the pale blue. We're still going to be quite quick. Right, I'm just going to clean out the brush again because there's quite a lot of white and obviously yellow ochre and clearly I don't want this coming back into the top part of the sky and contaminating it. Okay, let's go back into that deeper blue sky now. Just come back into the blue sky near the top of the canvas and there we go. I'm just going to start feathering that in now. Okay, back to our little technique of holding the brush lightly in one hand and just feathering across. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm quite happy with that now. And you can see that we've got a dark area in either corner and we've very easily and very simply and I think reasonably smoothly graded it down to this warmth which would be at the horizon. And again, we'll add a little bit of uh, landscape to the bottom of the picture so you can see the whole thing in context. So there we are, three colors, ultramarine blue, titanium white and yellow ochre have helped us to very quickly and very simply give ourselves 
a graded sky which is very much more the sort of sky that you'd expect to see on a summer's day and which is going to provide a superb basis for finishing off the rest of your landscape painting.